the black trickster a super nighttime fly designed to fish at dawn or dusk a great pretender for an eel stripers love them let's start the trickster above the hook point with the monofilament thread as in other tricksters and we'll tie in first on top of the hook shank a small clump of black super hair super hair is an important foundation material for the fly it allows the other materials to lay down um, nicely above and it also provides good tracking stability for the fly with the other materials tied above it get it in the right position equal on both sides of the hook shank and then simply tighten down the wraps and let's bring the thread back up to the hook eye to tie in the next material which will be the chartreuse bead chain eyes in size medium use a figure eight wrapping method to one side and then off to the other side and continually work your fingers to position the bead eyes in, in, equally on both sides and in a good lateral position and the monofilament thread will allow you to crank down without fear of breaking the thread we turn the bobbin to the hook point so that we can add the first of the SF fibers these are the Steve Farrer flash fiber flash fibers the first one is in the color black you can see that it has a lot of green and neutral glitter in it and taking several loose wraps so that you can position the material properly on the hook shank again using your thumb push it around a little bit you want an equal amount of fibers on either side of the hook shank when you're satisfied with the position bring the bobbin back to the hook point tightening the wraps as you go and clean off any excess materials the second Steve Farrer fibers flash fibers is in the midnight blitz the midnight blitz is black but it has a considerable amount of uh, midnight blue color to it which just adds contrast to the other material the other SF black materials and again same way loose wraps moving around push it around with your thumb when you're satisfied with position come back hard and tighten up the wraps return the bobbin to the hook point the final material for the body wing is just a little bit more glitter uh, by itself and what we're going to tie in here is about six or seven maybe even eight strands of rainbow crystal flash and we're going to tie this directly over the top of the fly a couple loose wraps get a position right and then simply cut it off a lot of times what I'll do is I'll wet down the crystal flash with a little bit of saliva on my fingers just to keep the fibers together the strands together so that they'll lay down and tie in properly again characteristics of the trickster pattern is the head now and this is crosscut bunny in black tie it in above the hook point and then bring your bobbin forward to the hook eyes we want to snug this up by palmering it forward keeping hide edge to hide edge as you rotate your vise forward you want to snug this up tight to the bead chain eyes Here we go. And then take a quick couple of wraps to secure it in place. And then just snip snip off the excess material. Good time to wet it down a little bit, a little saliva on the fingers. And then tie snug down that cut edge. And you can see the next flow back of this crosscut bunny. Finally, we're going to add some gill rakes. Short piece, small clump of red super hair. Just tie it in just after the bead eyes. Snug it down pretty good. And then clip off a bit of the excess. And then finish tying in that material with several figure eight wraps around the bead eyes. The red gill rakes are an important indicator for strike it, it does generate an impulse strike many many times they they'll look for that a couple of overhand knots whip finish if you like but with wood monofilament the other uh, loop knots the overhand knots work just fine 
snip it off and we'll finish the fly with a bit of crazy glue or a zappa cap whatever you're comfortable using a drop on the bottom cover those wraps on the top and it's also a good idea to put a little bit on the uh, bead chain eyes it gives a little bit of coating to prevent the uh, bead chain from rusting uh, with continuous use a good idea is always to rinse off your flies at the end there she is with all of the materials that you'll need to tie it